time on the Gadget Show Web TV, I bring you the latest in gadget news. Otis tests out his music making skills on the Hognox audio tool, and John tries to organise the family with the O2 Joggler. Hello and welcome to Web TV. Later I'll be bringing you the latest gadget news after John tries to juggle his diary with the O2 Joggler. This is one of the latest things from O2. They call it a joggler. What on earth is that, you might reasonably ask? Well, it's a sort of digital picture frame that connects to the internet and which also contains a SIM card so you can send and receive text messages and has lots of sort of widgets on the screen so you can easily keep abreast of news headlines, sports news, weather, traffic information and so on. And it also has a built-in calendar function that's synchronizable over the internet. An intriguing, if unlikely, combination. Let's see how well it does all those things. Well, it's certainly easy to set up. You just plug it into the mains. You do have to leave it on, though, but I'm told the uh, power consumption is quite reasonable. And you connect it to your home broadband router. It needs to be broadband, not dial-up, either by an Ethernet cable or by wireless. I've got this one set up wirelessly. You immediately notice the fairly sensitive touchscreen, which handles most gestures very well, though scrolling can be a bit hesitant. Texting's quite easy with a good on-screen keypad. It even includes a number pad. The news is from Sky News, although there aren't actually that many headlines and stories to go through. The weather is from Sky Weather, although again, it's also fairly basic, just a daily summary. There's a games function as well, but so far only one game. It all seems a little bit limited, although I did quite like the Traffic Master Traffic function. You can store your photos on the joggler and use it as a digital picture frame. There's a USB port in the side, though it only has one gigabyte of capacity. However, through its Wi-Fi capabilities, you can hook it up to your home PC and look at any pictures that are stored on there as well. You can also stream music and video, though a limitation there is the small size of the speakers built into the unit, which don't give terribly good sound quality or volume. But it's the calendar function that's the most ambitious. You've got to create a calendar account and a family calendar on the O2 website, and then any changes you make on that will automatically be synchronized on the joggler, and any changes you make on the joggler will automatically be synchronized on the web version. You don't need an O2 phone to actually operate this service, but you do need to give your mobile phone and email details and set up an account on the website for yourself and any other family member you want to operate it with. So you do end up with an awful lot of passwords and accounts. However, it does eventually update, although I found there were quite a few crashes and things involved in the process, and it was generally a bit slow. Having said that, you can actually make changes to the calendar via text. And if you do have an O2 phone, you can receive alerts by text when the calendar's been changed. In reality, I don't think even the most disciplined family, or one that's massively in need of organisation, is simply going to have the time to go through the machinations of O2's calendar. When you add to the fact that it's rather slow in operation and seems to be rather bug prone, I think you're better off looking for other devices to do all the jobs the joggler claims to be able to do. Those of you who have a lot of data, you might be interested to hear that Lacey are strengthening their portable hard drive range and their newest offering, named the LaCinema Rugged Hard Drive, is the ideal solution for transporting your movies. The Rugged Hard Drive is compatible with any HDMI supported television, so if you fancy watching your favourite flick on the big screen instead of your computer, you can just plug it in and watch away. Now the 500GB version holds up to 700 movies, 165,000 songs or photos and is both Mac and PC compatible. 
and it supports multiple codecs. Now, to give the Lucinema its rugged status, it has a scratch-resistant aluminium hard case and is fitted with internal anti-shock absorbers as well as a shock-resistant rubber bumper to help it withstand the occasional knock and bump. So if you've got it shoved in your backpack to take around to your mate's house, you can guarantee it'll stay in one piece and your media will be safe. It's available now and the 500 gigabyte version will set you back about £190. Orange have announced that they'll be the exclusive providers for Toshiba's TG01 handset. It's thought that it'll bridge the gap between phone and netbook. The TG01 has a very respectable 4.1 inch QVGA screen and it's only 9.9 millimeters thick, making it super slim. It also has the industry's fastest processor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 1 GHz, and it currently runs Windows Mobile 6.1. The TG01 handset is available now, but it will set you back about £39 a month on a 24-month contract. But this does include 1,200 minutes to any network, unlimited texts, access to orange maps and inclusive internet browsing, which makes it a very competitive package. But if you want to find out how well the TG01 handset functions before committing yourself to that lengthy contract, keep your eye on our website because no doubt John will want to get his hands on this phone as soon as possible. sure we'd all like to think we could write a number one hit if only we were a bit more musical. Well, the Hobnox Audio Tool is online music making software designed to help you make music which may propel you to pop stardom. Or get you pelted with rotten tomatoes. Here's Otis to find out. Now if you're into DIY tunes, I've got the perfect software for you. It's called the Hobnox Audio Tool. And it's already a winner because it's browser-based software, which means you don't have to download it onto your computer, install it, and then run it. You simply click on a link and then you're ready to go. Now essentially, it's an entertainment and publishing platform. So you can produce, make, compile your own tunes, and then put them up into a community via um, social networking software that's on there. And then people can listen to it, they can grade it, they can vote on it, and they can pass it on to other people. What the Hobnox Audio Tool does is it mimics real life musical products like tone generators, drum sequences, or effects pedals. One of the unique features is that you can connect these together in much the same way as you would a professional system. Now this can be confusing if you're not into your electronic music. So what Hobnox have done is they've created four presets that allow you to get your musical funk on a lot easier. Now I've gone for one of the simplest setups which is the Tone Matrix system here. It comes with beats per minute and different sound boxes, if you will, to create effects on your sound. You can increase the beats per minute or you can decrease BPM depending on what kind of tune you want. And then essentially you make the music by turning on or extinguishing lights within this dot matrix system here. Now I've come up with a simple, but I believe effective uh, tune in a loop and uh, I'm going to impress the ladies with it. So this is this is my debut, debut song, yeah? This is, it's, it's gonna be great, girls, you know what I mean? You're gonna love it. You're definitely gonna be yeah. dancing to this in the clubs. Have you actually created Yeah. <laughs> you can dance too, don't feel, you know? Just let it go. That's what this oh, means. That's what this song does, you know? It just makes you wanna. What do, what do you think? I like it. It's, it's all right, isn't it? Oh, um, there could be a bit more bass in it. Yeah. You wouldn't pay 79 pence for that on a download? Well, that's how much I charge for it. Maybe 65 okay. pence. Okay, in that case, hey. Oh, ring, ringtone? Yeah. Ringtone? Yeah, thanks a lot, girls. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Ringtone? Hold on a sec. Hello? Actually, it's not bad. Live recording is finally possible. You just choose your setup, add and remove the devices you need to produce your track, and then you can record to the My Files section of your Hobnox account. Now it's essentially a video and audio platform that allows you to create music. You can invent your very own recording studio, virtual recording studio on your PC. Before you know it, you could have women and maybe guys coming in, shaking their booty all over your front room or maybe not. But what they've done with just flash tools is amazing. I urge you to try it. 
that's all we've got time for this week, but remember to join our official Facebook fan page for online discussions about the show, as well as follow us on Twitter for daily updates on the new series. I'll be here again next week with more Gadget Show Web TV, but in the meantime, keep your eye on our website for exclusive videos and updates. See you next week. Thank you.